Hi everyone, so this video is for Annie. She said that she liked the idea of using the skinny type fonts to draw with, with her scan and cut, but she still wanted an outline around them that she could cut. But what, what she was saying to me was that if she draws two words like happy birthday or thank you or good luck, she wants the outline to be around both words rather than just outlining each individual word. So if I've understood her correctly, I think this is what she wants to do. So I'm using Canvas Workspace for computer and I'm using that because that enables us to use any font that we have installed on our computers. So I'm going to come over to the text box over on the left. I'm going to left click once on the page to get the text box and I'm just going to start with happy birthday and hit enter. So with the word selected I'm going to come to the top of the page where the fonts are and I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to find a thin style Font. So I'm going to use Banks Miles Single. Now it's not a single stroke font, despite the fact it's got the word single in its name, but it is a thin type font. And if you watch the previous video I did on my YouTube channel a few weeks ago, I explained about what results you would get using this type of font, dependent on the size that you draw it and the pen that you choose to use. So I'm going to come over to the right hand side to the edit tab and it's just under seven inches wide so I'm going to shrink it down because I don't think I would write something that big on the front of a card although you know if you, if you want to then that's fair enough. I'm going to take it down to about three, three and three quarter inches which means it's just under half an inch high and I'm just going to zoom in so that you can see it better. So the first thing I'm going to do is with the word selected I'm going to come up to the top of the page and I'm going to make it a draw line because if I don't do this and I forget now when I send this over to my scan and cut machine and I ask the machine to draw it nothing will appear on the scan and cut mat because I've not assigned it as a draw line here in the software. We've got the words, the two separate words, and they're assigned as a draw line. I think what she means now is she wants to put a cut line around, but she wants the cut line to go around the whole thing rather than the two individual words. So while I'm still under the edit tab, if I scroll down to the bottom and come to offset. Now, I normally, when I'm using my offset, I use 0 0.04, which is the lowest offset you can do in Canvas Workspace. So I'm going to choose that for now. I'm going to say outward and I'm going to say create an offset line only around the outer edge and I'm going to say OK. Now what you can see is because it, although I typed it in one, one action, because it's two separate words, it's put, if I drag this out of the way, it's put the offset around each individual word and I don't think that's what she wants. So I'm going to undo, select the word again. And basically the principle is more or less like I showed, I think it was last year in a YouTube live, but this time instead of doing it directly on the machine, it's going to be done here in Canvas Workspace. So again, I'm gonna come down to the offset. And then this time I'm going to choose a bigger offset. I'm going to try 0 0.12 and see if that works. Now you can see that that has put the offset around both words, which I think is what she's after. But you might think this is too big. So I'm going to undo, select the words again, come back to offset, and I'm going to try 0 0.08 and see if this works. Now again, 0 0.08 has outlined the two individual words. So we know we've got to go bigger than 0 0.08. So I'm going to undo, select the words, come to offset, and I'm going to use the 0 0.12. So I'm going to say OK and get the offset. 
Now, me personally would like it slightly tighter to the words. So it's the offset that's selected. So now what I'm going to do is, in fact, I'm going to select everything and right click and make a duplicate. And I'm going to bring the duplicate underneath. So this is 0.12. So now I'm going to select the outline of the copy. I'm going to come to offset and then this time I'm going to say inward and I'm going to take it down to 0.08 and see how it looks. So that's given me an inward offset now that's smaller. So if we take the big one out of the way, you can see that this one has outlined it tighter to the words. So you've got choices. It's entirely up to you how you choose to outline it. You may want to use the two matting layers, but that's basically how you make an outline that completely covers two separate words. So with this one, I'll, what I'll do, I'll colour them in so that you can see them better. We'll go for bright pink for that one and I'll send it to the back. I'll choose the next one down and make that pale blue and I'll send it backward one and then I've got the words which I'll just fill with black. So you've got three separate layers there. So it works the same if you want to type the words one on top of the other. So I'm going to come back to the text box, left click on the mat just to get an empty space and this time I'll type thank and enter and it's picked the same font because that's what I've just used. I'm going to duplicate this word and then select the copy which brings up the text box and I'm going to change that to you. So I've got thank you. So I'm just going to position it roughly the distance apart I think that I'm going to want it. I'm going to select both these words and come to align centre and that centres them together. So I'll just move these up out of the way. So we've got two separate words lined up centrally to each other. I'm going to select them both, come up to the top of the page, make them a draw line, and then I'm going to come down to the offset and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to try 0.08, which didn't work on this one with them being vertical, but we'll see if it works with these. Sorry, it didn't work with these that were in horizontal orientation. So we'll try it with vertical and see. I'm going to change it to outward. I'm going to say I want it around the outside edge only and say OK. Now that one doesn't look too bad. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to the layers palette and I'm going to find the thank and the you. So I'm going to select the word thank, hold the shift key down on my keyboard, select the word you. I'm just going to drag them off to the side just to get them out of the way for a minute. So now you can see that these actually overlap here, but they don't here. So you could select both, come to edit, and you could weld them. And that would give you the offset, although they're separated here. But, you know, that might be how you like it. Or I'm going to undo and undo to bring the words back and undo again to get rid of the offset. I'm going to select the words again, come down to offset and make the offset 0.12. So I'm going to make it bigger and say OK. And that now is touching all around. So I'm going to come to the layers panel again and just grab hold of the word thank and you. So I'm selecting the word thank and I know I've got the right one because it's highlighted. I'm holding my shift key down on the keyboard and selecting the word you. And then I'm just going to drag them off to the side. And you can see that these overlap now everywhere. So I can select both, come back to the edit tab and weld. So now I've got one solid outline. So if I select both of these two words, I'm going to group them. I'm just going to right click and group them just to make them easier to grab. 
and bring them back in. You can see now that we've got the words and the matting layer. But the matting layer again looks a little bit too big to me. So with the matting layer selected, I'm going to come to offset. I'm going to change it to inward and I'm going to take it down to 0 0.08 and say OK. Now that one hugs the word a lot closer. You may be happy with that. I don't think I particularly like that. So I'm going to get rid of it and I would just stick with this one. So if I select the offset, you'll see that the offset has been assigned as a draw line. So I'm going to change that to a cut line. So if I click the offset, it now says cut. And if I click the words, they say draw. So I would just select them both. Make sure that they're aligned, centered and vertical. And then I would group them and then send them over to the machine. And when you call this up on your mat and you ask the machine to draw, it will draw the words that have been assigned as a draw. And then when you put your blade in, it will cut the outer layer. And you would have to do the same with this up here. This is the draw line. And the matting layers, because we did them as offsets on a draw line, have been assigned as a draw as well. So you'd, you know, you'd have to change those as well. And then that can go back in there. And again, you can group them if you want to. But when you've got more than one layer, you would want to cut your layers separate. So I probably would select the words, hold the shift key down and select the first layer and group those because you may want to cut the layer from the same piece of card that you've drawn on and then I would keep the other layer separate because you may want to cut that in a different colour cardstock. Again with this one, the big one on the bottom, the thank you, if you were going to say draw in black on a white piece of card but you wanted your matting layer in pink then don't group them, ungroup them before you send them over to your machine. So that's entirely up to you. So that's how you apply a cutting layer around a total area, even though your words may be separate words. So that was for Annie, so I hope it helps. Please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.